Hello there, and welcome. Um, this video, well, okay, first of all, you see this little notebook here. Uh, I got this for Christmas from my sister. It was a Christmas present. Um, and I thought I'd do a little video on it because I wanted to try it out, and I figured, you know, why not just incorporate it into a video. So I thought I'd do like a little speed paint in here, but first I figured I needed to try out the actual book and see if it was going to work out or not because it's not an art like it's not for art it's not supposed to be like um the the little card in the front that i held up for a little bit uh said basically that it's you know for like maybe kind of scrapbooking or whatever but uh so it's not really meant to be used for like certain art supplies like you'll see i test out a lot of art supplies in this uh notebook and you'll see some of them really do not go with this notebook but um aesthetically i really like it it has a really nice texture on the front cover it's like uh the little note card said that it's hand woven and the whole book is like handmade and everything like that and it's really cool like, I really like how it looks. I wish I could use it for a lot of the art supplies that I have, but most of them didn't really work out. But, um, so yeah, in this video I'm basically trying out all the supplies that I have, like everything that I could think of that I had and that I normally do make art with. Uh, and I just kind of opened it up to the first page and tried all of them out and saw how each one interacted with the paper and which ones worked and which ones didn't. The microns that I'm using right now, uh, they went along pretty well. Like, um, anything that wasn't really water-based, well, I, I mean, anything that wasn't too, um, wet worked pretty well with this notebook, even though, well, not really. Okay, not a lot of my art supplies worked with this, but the microns worked well. There were a few other pens that worked well. You kind of see I go through and add little, like, check marks and X's based on how well they performed in the notebook, but for, yeah, for the first part of this video, that's basically all I'm doing, and then on uh, after I finish trying out all my supplies, I go through to the next page and do a little bit of a speed paint, because that was my original plan with this notebook. I wanted to, as soon as I got it, I was like, okay, I gotta um, make at least like one little video with this, do like one little speed paint in it, and then see where it goes from there, but uh, the reason that I did this test page was because I didn't really want to start out with a drawing because I could, like, it could either go one of two ways. One, I could, you know, try, like, really hard, make a really nice picture, and then it turns out the supplies that I want to use don't work, and then it just ruins this picture that I've tried really hard on. But on the other hand, I could, you know, be careful with it, do, like, a simple little drawing, and then it goes really well, and I'm like, man, I wish I had made something a lot nicer than this, you know? So, uh, it was... I figured a little bit of planning was needed for this, so that's why I did this whole first page testing out all the supplies. And I also think it looks really nice because, um, I don't know, I don't really do this, but I know a lot of artists um, get a little hung up over what to do on the first page of a new sketchbook because, uh, I guess, they, they want to make it look really nice, you know, make a good first impression on the first page, so... Um, I'm not really like that, I just kind of go straight into it, but um, I feel like this was a good idea for a first page because it's just, I don't know, I think, I just like how it looks overall. It's just like, you know, a big mis mishmash of what I usually use, it's all on one page and um, it just looks really pretty because there's like colors and just, you know, everything coming together on one page, so um, that aspect I really like. Um, so. I'm happy with that. Oh, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> so this is um, when I'm pulling out the watercolors. They instantly soaked through the paper. Like, you, it's really easy to see when it's, like, sped up like this. Like, I lay down the color and immediately it's just, like, gone. And I was like, oh, this paper is really absorbent. And that's kind of what I figured what would happen because the, um, my original idea how I wanted to do, it, like, a speed paint in this notebook I wanted to do watercolor because, like, when I opened the book, I, the first thing I noticed was that it had really thick pages, so I was like, oh, maybe it'll work with watercolors. It's not watercolor paper. <laughs> it's not at all watercolor paper. Not even close. It just, the water went straight through, like you see, I, I, um, when I was turning the pages, like, showing how, it went through, I think, like, four pages. Well, not four pages. It went through, like, maybe two or three pages, but, like, just front to back. It's, it's just 
incredible to me how quickly it just went straight through. <laughs> and the same thing kind of happened with my uh, alcohol markers, my Touch 3 markers. Uh, I was hoping those would go a little bit better, but they went straight through too. And like, I could, you know, deal with it or whatever, but like, it's not, you know, it's not a watercolor sketchbook and I would end up wasting a lot of my paints and um, ink from my markers just because of how badly it soaks through. And I mean, some watercolor paper is like that too. Like, I tried to use my alcohol markers on some watercolor paper once and I thought it worked out well, but like, after after a while I kind of realized, you know, it's just absorbing all my ink, I'm having to go over it like a couple times before it kind of shows the color a little bit better and it's like, I don't want to waste my ink like that so that's why I usually use my moleskin which, I mean, it's not, it's not marker paper but it's a lot better <laughs> than um, using so much ink to make it work on watercolor paper. So, I don't know. This book was kind of a fun little experiment because I do still really like the book. Um, just like I said, aesthetically, I think it looks really pretty. It's got the, the woven cover and the torn pages and um, it's got a lot of texture to it. I think it's really nice and I might do some sketches in it. I found that, um, I don't think I've done it yet in this video, but uh, you'll see a little bit later, I try out some colored pencils, my Prisma colors, and those seem to be the best supply other than like maybe the Micron pens, uh, which I forgot to mention. I got the Micron pens for Christmas as well. Those were a Christmas present. I'm really excited about them because my previous set, the Prisma color Premier whatever's, <laughs> the, the little inking pens, um, those were those have been working out for me pretty well, but um, the smallest sizes, like the 005 or like the .05 or whatever it's called, you know, the small one, um, is kind of messed up a little bit and like it doesn't really draw at a fine point anymore. So I'm really excited about this new set of Microns because it has very small sizes and I'll be excited to have small sizes that actually work for once. So, um, why, why did I bring that up? I was just... I don't know, I, I get distracted when I'm talking, but um, the Prismacolor pencils seemed like the best supply for this notebook, um, and that's what I decided to do the speed paint in because, well, not speed paint, but like, you know, the drawing on the next page that I decided to do. I used colored pencils because they were the best, and I wanted to do something in color. Like, I could have done a little ink drawing, but the thing with the microns is that since the paper is so textured, they get caught on the texture a lot, and it I'm worried that it will ruin my, my pens because I don't want them to get, like, frayed or... Um, what's the word? Like when they break in half, like I don't, I don't want that to happen and it seems like this paper is just, you know, it's not art paper. I'm doing the best I can with it, so, um, I think what I'm gonna use this sketchbook for, well, not sketchbook, but what I'm gonna use this notebook for, um, I think mostly what I'm gonna use it for is, like, scrapbooking, uh, kind of thing. I'm not, I don't really do scrapbooking and I don't really take a lot of photos and, like, I'm not gonna print out a bunch of photos and just to stick them in here. I think, um, I collect a lot of strange things. Not like, not like I have a collection, it's just like if I ever have something, like maybe a scrap of paper from like a, a ticket, like okay that's an example, I, ha I save a lot of movie tickets every time I go and see a movie, I save my ticket because I think it's really cool, it's kind of a like mini collection that I have, so I was thinking maybe a good idea for this notebook would be to paste in some of the movie tickets that I've accumulated over the years. You know, just little things like that, like a, a scrapbook of random junk that like reminds me of things. Uh, maybe people will open up my book and be like, wow, why is there a bunch of trash in here? I'm like, it means something to me. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's treasure. And then there's like literally candy wrappers in it. You know, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna see what happens. You know, I'm gonna do whatever with it. So, um, it's kind of like a, uh, like open-ended like just do whatever comes to mind so um yeah it was a fun experiment to see what supplies worked what supplies d definitely didn't work like the watercolors but i uh, i liked how i turned the watercolor splatter thingy that bled through to the other page i used that to make a tree because i don't know it just looks like a tree to me i realized i didn't really talk about the drawings that much the other thing 
that I painted with just the colored pencils in the corner. That was supposed to be, like, I was referencing a picture of some clouds that I found online and, like, uh, you can't really tell. Maybe, maybe it's a little bit more obvious to other people, but to me it's, like, really... Uh, if you look at the original picture that I referenced, it's not, it's not that great. It's not very accurate. Clouds are a lot harder to draw than I thought they would be. I thought I could just like lay on a bunch of colors on the page and it would eventually start to look like clouds, but it didn't. So that's why I had to come in with a micron later and like draw over it and make it look maybe a little bit more like clouds. So, um, yeah, it was a fun experiment, like I said, uh, and... I think I'll have a lot of fun with this sketchbook. I'm really interested to see what it turns into if I'm gonna start pasting random things into it. But um, anyway, it was fun and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I'm going to end this here now because I don't want to go on talking too long. So yes, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye!